Welcome to this introduction to timers and PWM on Arduino featuring the AT Mega 328P microcontroller. The Arduino Uno and the Arduino Nano is a popular microcontroller board for beginners and experts alike. One of its powerful features is the ability to control timing and generate pulse width modulation or PWM signals. Inside the Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano or the Arduino Mini, we find the AT Mega 328P microcontroller, which has several built in timers that allow precise timing and control. From controlling the speed and direction of a DC motor to creating beautiful fading effects on LEDs. Timers and PWM open up a world of possibilities for your Arduino projects. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced maker, understanding timers and PWM on Arduino with the Atmega 328P chip can take your projects to the next level. Stay tuned for more tutorials and projects and start experimenting with these powerful features today. But before that, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos and tutorials. So now let's dive into the main content of this tutorial. First, let's talk about timers. Timers are versatile hardware components that can be used to count time or create delays. The Atmega 328P has three timers known as Timer 0, Timer 1 and Timer 2. You can configure these timers to generate interrupts, produce accurate timing or create time-based events in your projects. Now let's delve into PWM or Pulse Width Modulation. PWM is a technique to generate analog like output using digital pins. It's incredibly useful for controlling things like LED brightness, server motors and more. The Arduino Uno has six PWM pins, namely digital pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11, which can produce PWM signals. PWM works by rapidly turning a pin on and off with varying duty cycles. By adjusting the duty cycle, you can control the average voltage delivered to the component, effectively controlling its output. Now let us start with the timer 0 on Arduino Uno. Timer 0 is a critical component that allows precise timing and control in your Arduino projects. Timer 0 is a 8-bit timer which means it can count from 0 to 255. You can use it for tasks like generating accurate time delays, measuring time intervals or creating precise pulse width modulation signals. In practical terms, Timer 0 can help you control the timing of events in your projects. For example, you can use it to create delays for LEDs to blink at specific intervals or to precisely control the speed of a motor. Using timer 0 in your Arduino sketches is relatively straightforward. You can configure it by setting the appropriate registers and adjusting the prescaler to achieve the desired timing accuracy. Timer 0 is mostly used to control functions like delay or delay microseconds, milliseconds, etc. Now coming to the timer 1 of Arduino Uno. Inside the Arduino Uno lies the 8 Mega 328P microcontroller and timer 1 is one of its built-in timers. It's a powerful tool that can serve various functions in your projects. Timer 1 is a 16-bit timer unlike the other two timers which are 8-bit, meaning it can count from 0 to 65,535. 
This makes it perfect for tasks like generating accurate time delays, measuring time intervals or creating precise pulse width modulation signals. In real world application, Timer 1 can help you control the timing of events in your project. For instance, you can use it to create precise intervals for triggering sensors or to smoothly control the speed of a motor. Implementing Timer 1 in your Arduino sketches is relatively straightforward. You can configure it by setting the appropriate registers and adjusting the prescalers to achieve the desired timing accuracy. Now let's introduce to Timer 2. Unlike Timer 0 and 1, Timer 2 is an 8-bit timer, which means it can count from 0 to 255. It has a smaller range but is excellent for specific tasks requiring fine-tuned timing. Timer 2 shines when precision is paramount, such as creating accurate delays between sensor readings or finally controlling the speed of a motor. Working with Timer 2 in your Arduino sketches is straightforward, much like other timers. You configure it by setting the prescaler and the relevant registers to achieve your desired timing accuracy. Now let's take a look at the PWM modes of Arduino Uno. Apart from the normal operation, it offers three different PWM modes. These are Fast PWM, Phase Correct PWM, and clear timer on compare. During the normal operation, there is no PWM output at any of the pins. All the pins behaves as a general input or output pins and the timer registers are not set. Now let's understand the fast PWM mode. The fast PWM mode on the Arduino Uno works by having a timer count up to a specific value and then reset. So in case of 8-bit timers it counts from 0 to 255 and for 16-bit timers it counts from 0 to 65535. The output turns on when the timer is at 0 and turns off when the timer matches the output compare register. Output compare register value can be set through the Arduino code. Each channel can be set for inverting and non-inverting outputs. You can control the duty cycle which determines the on and off times of the PWM signal by changing the value to which the timer counts. A higher count means a longer on time and a lower count means a shorter on time. Now let's see how to put fast PWM into action. In order to demonstrate with the help of a experiment, I have written a very simple Arduino code. In your Arduino code, you can use the analog write function to apply fast PWM. Specify the pin you want to use and duty cycle value ranging from 0 to 255. Here's a quick example of how to control the brightness of an LED using fast PWM. The LED is connected to pin 9 and a potentiometer is connected to A0 to control the brightness. Once the sketch is compiled and uploaded, you can see the PWM is coming out of pin 9 and it is at 490 hertz. If I change the potentiometer value, the brightness of the LED will change and the duty cycle of our PWM signal can also be changed. The advantage of fast PWM is that it offers high frequency switching which reduces flicker and less likely to be visible to human eye. This makes it suitable for applications where smooth and precise control is required. Now let us explore the fascinating world of phase correct PWM, one of the three pulse width modulation modes available on the Arduino Uno. 
But before we delve into the phase correct PWM mode, let's understand what's it all about. Phase correct PWM is a mode that enables us to generate pulse width modulated signals with a symmetric waveform, making it perfect for applications like motor control or audio modulations. In phase correct PWM mode, on the Arduino Uno, the timer counts up and down, creating a balanced PWM signal. This means it starts at zero, counts up to a specified value, and then counts back down to zero before repeating the cycle. The symmetric waveform is beneficial in scenarios where you need smooth transition between PWM states, such as controlling the speed of a motor without sudden jerks. Let's put phase correct PWM mode into practice. In your Arduino code, you can use the analog write function to apply phase correct PWM. Just like the other PWM modes, specify the pin you want to use and a duty cycle value ranging from 0 to 255. Here is a quick example of how to control the brightness of LED using phase correct PWM. The LED is connected to pin 11 and a potentiometer is connected to pin A0 to input the analog signal to control the brightness. Pin 3 and pin 11 are both set to output. You can set any one as you wish. In our example, I have used pin 11 to connect the LED. The brightness is controlled with the potentiometer. The potentiometer value can range from 0 to 1023 as the input of an Arduino are 10 bits. So we need to map it down to 0 to 255 values. The value of brightness will be set to output compare register 2A to set the brightness of LED. Now let's upload the sketch and see how it behaves. So once the sketch is uploaded, the frequency of the output signal is 490 Hz and the duty cycle can be adjusted using the potentiometer. So if I turn the knob of the potentiometer, the duty cycle will increase and eventually the brightness of LED will also increase. The beauty of phase correct PWM lies in its smooth transitions and symmetric waveforms making it perfect for tasks where you want to avoid sudden changes that might affect the behavior of your devices. That's our deep dive into the phase correct PWM mode on the Arduino Uno. Feel free to experiment with it in your projects wherever you are working on precise motor control or creating captive audio effects. Now let us explore the intriguing world of CTC PWM, one of the advanced pulse width modulation modes available on the Arduino Uno. But first, what exactly is CTC PWM? CTC stands for Clear Timer on Compare Match and its mode that offers precise control over PWM signal generation. It's useful for applications like creating accurate timing intervals or creating custom waveforms. In CTC PWM mode on the Arduino Uno, you set a specific value that the timer counts up to. When it reaches that value, the timer is automatically reset to zero. This process creates a PWM waveform and a defined frequency and duty cycle. Please note that in this mode, the duty cycle is fixed. It cannot be changed with the input. The CTC PWM is particularly beneficial when you need precise timing or want to create custom PWM signals for specified applications. Let's see how to put CTC PWM into action. In your Arduino code, you can use the analog write function to apply CTC PWM. Specify the pin 
you want to use and a duty cycle value ranging from 0 to 255 just like other PWM modes. Here is a basic example of how to create a custom waveform using CTC PWM. The output is obtained at pin 6 and the register values are set. When we set OCR 0A to 79, we get a 100 kilohertz square waveform output. So let's upload the sketch and see how it behaves. Once the sketch is uploaded, you can see we are getting exactly 100 kilohertz square wave in our output. But the drawback of this mode is that we cannot change the duty cycle with the potentiometer. And thus the brightness of LED cannot be controlled. But we are getting a higher frequency as compared to the other two modes. In the fast PWM mode and phase correct PWM mode, we have got around 490 Hz frequency. But in this mode, we can get a custom frequency value that we want. The advantage of CTC PWM is its precision. You have full control over the timer and can create custom waveforms with precise timing, making it suitable for applications requiring accurate timing or unique signal shapes. That wraps up our exploration of CTC Comp PWM mode on the Arduino Uno. Feel free to experiment with it in your projects. Whether you are designing custom waveforms or require precise timing intervals. Now if we want to use a custom frequency and a desired duty cycle on our output how we are going to obtain that. That brings us to the next part of this video. Please make, to, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any notification of the videos. If you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching. Happy experimenting.